Mr. O.C. in the place to be. I got long off the P.O.C. Your computer's broken, O.C.? Today, it is my time to take the day off, bro. <laughs> He's too busy. Uh, I mean, I got long off the point of control here. I am currently up like done diggity. All right. We are going to outer space um, to the moon. They wrecked everybody today, OC. They wrecked them all. They wrecked them all. Oh, yes, I saw that, brother. Oh, man, that was a beautiful right. trade there. Uh, are you still planning for a re-entry there or not really? Are you going to let it go? So I took two losses on my live stream today. And then okay. I took uh, a, and then I took a long off the, um, I took a long off of, off the bottom here. And then I took profits at the top at the value area high. And then I took a long off the point of control again. And now I'm in this trade right now. So. I'm a big, <laughs> see, I was trying to explain this to everybody. Okay. Uh, so what happens, right. Is, and I was telling people this this morning. Okay. There's gotta be a plan, right. And the plan needs to have risk management and how, if you are going to take a loss, if you need to be able to cut your losses, Assess, re-enter today. Let's let's look at this. Okay, so first trade. First trade was where was it here? Bear Diva. Okay, this one here was it here? I think it was here. Okay, where's VWAP? Let me find VWAP. One second here. I gotta be. I gotta give it give it the whole play by play here. Because OC doesn't want to work today. And then we'll look at Solana. Um, and then we'll reassess. What? Chart Prime Scalp. Here we go. Here we go. So looking at this. VWAP. There's VWAP. Okay. Early in the morning. So this was the morning. Okay. We took the long here. We got stopped out one. Is it here? Okay. So let's go over this. So what happens? Bearish divergence. Okay. Bearish divergence are not bear bearish diverging. I don't know how to explain it. There's the bear divs aren't diving. Okay. Um, they're not breaking. So when, when you see a bear div, right? Something like this, right? You get your bear div. You want to see the low taken. Okay. That's what, you're typically looking for is you're looking for a continuation through the low. Okay. And you've, you've gotten multiple, multiple bear divs and yet they have not breaking down. Okay. You go out on like a one hour. Let me get rid of this. And you see here, right? You're on your one hour and you got your bearish divergence, right? Right here. Um, on, on, other oscillators, you had a bearish divergence here as well. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't come and take the low. So you'd expect this to come and take the low. This one here, you'd expect this to come and take the low. Didn't here, right? So the bear divs aren't divin. That's just the first realization this morning. So going into the one minute time frame, the scalping, just so you can, guys can see the thought process here. Okay. So morning, we get bear divs coming down key level of support in here big um big trend line coming through here so we're looking for support we did not get long off of this we we probably should have but this was early this was 8 15 8 20 this is right when i go live so didn't take this trade should have taken this trade looking to come up to the highs would have been a nice little trade okay so now we're feeling the fomo this is the fomo time right because you know we just want to get long we're like, oh my God, look, it's pumping, it's pumping. So we look for, uh, we look for the OC break, break, uh, breakout retest. So we got this, we got this trend line in here, man. We, we're gonna take the OC breakout retest, right? Um, so we get to, we're front running it, we front run it, it comes in here, 
Okay, boom. Knocks us out. Okay, it was tight stop loss, right? Then we're like, okay, back to the trend line. Back to the trend line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to take this one too, right? We're going to take this one too. Boom. Knocked out again. I was, I actually took it right here and I was in profit for like, for a little bit and I thought about cutting it, right? And then it rolled over. Boom. Stopped out, right? Stream ends, okay? The stream ends. I'm pissed off. 9.45. I'm pissed off. I'm like, okay. What trade setup did I have this morning? I had this trade setup this morning. If you go back to my live stream, this is what I opened the day with, okay? This is what I should have traded first and foremost. The whole, this whole bullshit morning trading session, okay? I had this trade just sitting here all morning, just waiting. Could have just waited like I normally do. I'm so, I'm so patient. Sometimes I miss trades, but in this case, I should have just been, been effing patient, right? Okay. So what happens? It comes down into my beautiful green box. Guess what? I press buy, right? It comes all the way back up to the top of the range. I make, so this is the importance I'm trying to teach you is very small loss, very small loss, very tight stop right under here. Very big win. Okay. Retest of the point of control. Very big win. I'm, I'm out of this trade now. Okay. I just exited actually as we were speaking. Yeah. Yeah. I'll close it. Okay. So, so what does this show you? This shows you by managing risk. You one, you live to trade another day, which is, you know, right? So we look at this. This was $50. This was 150. This was uh, 600. And this was just 400. Right? That's my day. And I didn't even need to trade Cardano. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. <laughs> right? So I've made, you know, an easy eight bills today, right? US. Let's remind ourselves US and look at this, bro. This is so good. Uh, where is it here? Where is it here? Uh, da, 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 da. US. So when, when I make money in the US, bro, this is so good in Canadian. Oh my God. This is like this, this dollar pumping, bro. Donald Trump. They say that the US dollar could be worth a dollar 60 Canadian in the couple years. A dollar sixty. So this is convert level. So when I get, because I get paid in U.S. dollars, right? So whenever money goes into my PayPal or whatever it is, I I switch it to Canadian dollars when it's in this box, okay? When it's down here, I I hold it, okay? So this is a little trick I use to make more money off of my U.S. dollars, okay? I'm sure OC does the same with his peso. I'm sure he has, you know, okay, this is my area where I'm trying to convert. When it's down, I don't, I wait, and then it comes back up. Because traders, we take advantage of this, right? So right now, I'm making, for every dollar, I'm making $1.40 in Canadian dollars. It's, 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 it's the best it's been since 2022. Okay, let's face it. This is, this is the, as good as it gets. So I'm making a lot of extra money. So, you know, in U.S. and Canadian. So that's kind of my story this morning, is that, one, I manage risk. Two, I have a plan, a big plan, and a little plan. I'm able to scalp a range. I'm able to get in, but I am very aware of when I need to get out. Very aware. Okay, I do not overstay. I don't. I I could have held this right, but I don't overstay my welcome. I don't need to. Okay. Um. Sometimes you know. Sometimes you want to get out of that family. You know, you're hanging out with family, and they're getting a little loud, and your uncle's pissing you off. You, you don't want to overstay. And you want to come in a little bit late. You want to eat the food. You want to say, hey, I love you, la, la, la. You want to leave early, yada, yada. It's just like Christmas time, okay? Speaking about Christmas, I look like Rudolph. Did you see my nose? I woke up with the biggest pimple, man. I look like Rudolph. <laughs> Christmas came early, man. I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, man. Dude, I, did, I didn't even I'm notice, not... to be honest. <laughs> it's huge, bro. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs>
Bro, I can light the way. If you can't see in the in the fog, I can show you, man. I can show you exactly how how to get there. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, way, I'm Alex, ready to show you. <laughs> to success. <laughs> fucking bullshit. I woke up, I'm like, man, I look like a fucking Rudolph, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is interesting though. You that gotta you're laugh. Doing great because you're buying more trash food, so you're getting more trans fat in your system. <laughs> that's it, man. <laughs> uh, Cut the chocolate, but brother. that's Cut out chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even eat eat sugar, man. It's so bad. My wife loves chocolate. I like I like pastries. That's my weak spot. I like a Danish and oh man, muffins and. Oh, don't oh don't you get me started, like? man. I'm like a fat You like Coca-Cola. I know what you like. cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> I like big big candle energy, baby. Um there you go. But yeah, this was not an easy like you have to be fully dialed here, right? Like this is not easy price action. You push up, you come back down, you squeeze, you squeeze, you hold, you hold, you hold, you hold. You fake them out, you dump it again. This fake out dump again almost got me, okay? And then you rip to the upside, grabbing all the shorts in here, right? And then you come back right back down into the middle of the range, point of control, perfect bounce, and then oh, we can look for this to continue. But right now, this is looking like it wants to stay range bound, okay? So um, just so you guys know, you got you to gotta be using you know, good risk management Especially in this, <laughs> my nose is my butt, and you cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. You guys love it. Stop looking at my beautiful nose. <laughs> but yeah, coming back, retesting your money flow point of control, right? Watching the bear divs, right? Watching, you know, this was, you know, easy, easy short, but not because look at. Look at price action. Like you just gotta zoom in. Nothing is easy right now. Everything they don't want to make it easy. It's shaky, shaky, shaky. Okay. The so lower your leverage, lower your uh, lower your margin. Give yourself a little bit more wiggle room, right? Lower your margin and take advantage of the trades. But with anything like this, um, I always suggest with an uptrend or anything like that, you know, throw on your, your dynamic reactor. It's a really good tool that will help you look at this, right? Even your point of control. Look at that point of control, dynamic reactor, perfect long there, right? Long, 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 eight minute time frame. I'm telling you eight minute, boom, eight minute, boom, eight minute, boom, eight minute, boom, magical. Don't tell Piper all my tricks, eh? I know you taught him about the clipping thing at the bottom, eh? You can't give him all my tricks, man. Oh, man. You can't. I give you 100%. This is I said man. I pick up this from Alex O, oh, and it's recorded. I give you complete... Uh, he always... He, he's always taking the... Look. Look. Clipping. What do I say? Clipping. Clipping. Bearish divergence entry. Okay? Boom. Down. Bearish divergence entry. Boom. Down. Look at this. Money, money, baby. Okay. So simple. So simple. Anyways, clipping bearish divergence, bullish divergence. So what did you have here? Clipping bullish divergence long right here. Look at that trick. Come on. Tell me this doesn't work. Tell me this doesn't work, baby. Oh, Anyways, man. I can't give you all eight minute dynamic reactor for scalping with the clipping, with the clipping bullish divergence. Bro, go back test it. Clipping is when, okay, a clipping on any oscillator is when you see that it comes. So on this, I'm talking about the clipping of the magnificent seven. It's called right here. So you see this little, the, the, the hidden one. This one that goes green, purple, green, purple in the background here, and it's very choppy. When it's clipping, this is clipping right here. So it's clipping out at the top. Okay. It's clipping out at the bottom right here. Okay. And then you're trading the bull div, right? If you're clipping up here, you're trading the bear div. You, you obviously, you want to favor trend, uptrend, right? But you're trading this. So once you clip, that's your warning sign. And this is your entry. Okay. Warning sign. So it says, hey, pay attention, dummy. 
clipping. And then you wait for your next higher or lower high, and that's your entry or higher low, whichever one it is, right? This is a down, this is an uptrend. So, but look at this, still worked out, right? Clipping, warning, entry. You wait, you, you gotta wait, you wait, you wait, you wait. But come on, you guys are patient. I know you guys are patient. So clipping is whenever any oscillator, you can have clipping too on like money flow or anything. It's when it comes up to the top and it flattens out, okay? It's, it's, it's clipping the top of the oscillator. It's, it's at maximum or minimum um, extension of the oscillation. So if this is your oscillation, it's clipping the top, right? So you could say that, you know, this, this is almost clipping the top. This RSI here, this one's really clipping the top, right? That's, that's, that's clipping up top here, even for your RSI, right? Um, for your money flow, typically clipping up here around 70, right? You don't see it typically get above these areas, right? But you get a clear um, idea of what clipping is with your mag seven, which is right here, right? That one there, right? That one there, right? You can see it. You see? You see the clip? Okay? You see the clip? And see how it's oscillating here, 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 here. No clip, no clip, no clip, no clip, right? So that shows you it's rare, but it but it is uh, very powerful, and you can use it on all time frames. And I've looked at I, that's what I first back tested when I first started using the uh, the oscillator pro. That's uh that's a little trick. Um, you can see it here. Yeah. So lots of lots of quick tricks there. So for now, Bitcoin in this range, I would like to see it come and take these highs. If we mitigate these highs, I would think we would go lower. Okay. Uh, Najibula, do you want to speak? What's going on, man? Are you trying to speak? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Stereo, that is a part of the Primacy Pro Plus. Exactly. Yeah, it's an upgrade. Of this gives you access to uh, all of the work that we've done with other influencers. So basically, influencers have an idea for an indicator or they have uh, added value to it. Um, and we usually uh, do an integration with them. And based on that, um, they launch their indicator under our, our production. And I mean, we work with ton of, of influencers. So everybody just wanted to kind of, like, you know, like they went for, for example, the Bravo kit, and then they, they went for another kit and so on and so forth. So we talked to the influencers and got them together and tell them, hey, you know, guys, uh, community can get better and can benefit from all of you guys, right? So we smashed them all together. They all agreed. Of course, uh, we need to do some um, some convincing, to say the least. <laughs> and we made it everything into plus. So instead of going for one single, um, let's just say, influencer package, uh, you get the plus subscription and then you get all of the influencers packages and not only that we also wanted to throw in our development kit and our uh the things that are being on develop uh, development a uh, beta testing and early access uh, yeah. before we release to to the pro indicators i mean make no mistake the pro indicators are our top tier line uh, and then uh the plus indicators are ideas or proprietary uh, information from influencers that us as manufacturers uh, we integrated together. So you know, like a win-win scenario was like, oh, you know what? Let's let's make a deal. Uh, let us also pro, uh, you know like promote this and let's all get together, right? Uh, to benefit to benefit uh, the community. They all agreed, and that's how we launched Plus. So just a little bit on that. Yeah, uh, I, I think uh, I'm. Uh, it's tired. Uh, open a ticket. I'll guide you through it. Uh, I might have a surprise for you. Um, that is because you always participate here. That's because you always uh, are around. Uh, go to the help channel, request a ticket with me. And after the class, uh, I'll get you. I'm going to get you today a, a, little, a little treat because you're always here. And I appreciate you guys when you are here. So 
I should try to give a little bit more on my side, right? So uh, do that after the class. Yeah, I'm, I'm here make, every uh, day, day, man. Sorry? I'm here every day, though. <laughs> man, you have full access. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one more thing that I can give you, which is... It's your heart. My for heart. That's it. There's no hard thing that I can maybe send you. But <laughs> I can I can let you win in Halo. <laughs> <laughs> I did let you win on Halo. Right? Right? Oh, right? Shit. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah, you did. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're gonna go over Solana, but first I wanted to shout out myself for giving you guys the grass trade yesterday. Remember this, OC? Yes. Do you remember I grass? Do. Yeah. So, I gave you this one, but look at this one, man. I gave you the first entry here, bro. I mean, look at that. stupid money, man. 45% <laughs> move. Fucking hell. I don't know if anyone took the, the grass trade, but you'd be smoking grass if you didn't take the grass trade that I gave you guys. Uh, pretty incredible. Um, oh, man. Anyways. Let's go over to Solana. So Solana coming up to uh to the highs, right? So nice move for Solana, up only very much so. So what are we what's the first thing I always tell you guys? Retest of the previous highs, okay? So put the box down here, man. I'm telling you, if it doesn't come back down here, okay, that's fine. But at least you've marked out that area, okay? So you want to break this down, you have a key support level up in here. You continue to push. So going to our 4 hour, what do we see? I see a little bit of extension, tweezer top, a little bit of a warning sign for maybe uh, a retracement. Okay, what are we going to do again? Oh, look, there's another high. So let's mark out that one as well. So as we continue here, I'm going to continue to mark out um, previous highs. And then I'm going to get you guys some key levels as well on Solana. So be looking here as well. Let's pull a fib from low to high. Take a look here. Low to high. Oh, look, golden pocket. Quite perfect. That is nice. So I'll make this a little bit bigger and I'll be looking if we are going to retrace, that would be my key area that I would look to possibly build along at 193. Okay. And then we have some, some key support up in this area here. So I'm um, pretty aggressive move here on Solana. Obviously we're in a very aggressive bull bullish move right now. So I go from low here to the high here and it does look as though we're coming back to retest this momentum trend line here. So, if we hold here, then yeah, that's great. However, we do know like all time high resistance is up in this area here. So that's something to be uh, cautious about. And, you know, I'm not suggesting we're going to go to 173, like back down into this area, but coming back down and retesting some of this in here is going to be um, ideal for price action for Solana. Now, I always suggest using um, your order blocks, your liquidity zones and your tools. I would like to think here. Yeah. Okay. And here, so these are all significant lows. So as you come down, you're looking to possibly bounce off of any one of these, like a sweep. So you're looking for price to maybe lose this area, retest. So you could be looking for a potential short, which is not suggested right now because it does seem like it's very much up only. However, you have mitigated the low in here. Um, so if you are going to look to short, I would look for this to come down, mitigate the low in here, meaning take this low out meaning a change of character, retest back up in maybe the point of control or the trend line here, and then come back down to this 193. So that would be like the short idea, but you really, really want to have confirmations. You want to see Bitcoin rolling over and you want to see this low taken out first and foremost before anything. Okay, that's going to be key. Then if you are looking for, for uh, a long on Solana, you're definitely going to wait for key levels of support and resistance. So even pulling like a volume profile in here, it's very choppy. You're very much at the top, right? So coming back down to like a key level, like 193, uh, that would just be a nice correction and continuation on more of a macro. So something I would be looking for. Now coming into this level, you wanna see some sort of maybe bullish divergence, that clipping, um, some sort of stalling out here because obviously this range within here, we held within here, um, for quite some time. So if we do come down here and we don't bounce here, look for us to come back and chop within here and find support at 187. So if this, then that right now, 
This is looking a little bit bearish. You want to be cautious with Solana. Uh, I do believe it's looking quite juicy to the upside. Uh, but if you are in a Solana long, you, you may look to take a little bit off um, the, the table and you know manage your risk that way. But overall, this you know clear uptrend liquidity resides at all these lows. Those are areas of interest for you to come and take and then hopefully bounce. But like I said, if you lose that level, you're coming back in here and retesting this level. So that's what I would do um, for Solana. Just be very cautious going o over into the weekend. It's Friday, baby. Um, so make sure you guys are paying yourselves uh, like we have been with that Ethereum trade that I gave you guys. My God. OC, does it get more juicier than this, man? We're still in this, man. We added Holy over shit. here. We added to our, we added it right here. Um, in our Discord. Uh, so I saw that. We'll see. When you were I calling mean, that out of each there. Yeah. So we added here. We we got in here. <laughs> this is like honestly, it's like two months worth of trading profits for us. Uh, for me, anyways. So stupid, stupid money. But you got to take advantage of these times. That's why we have a community. That's why you know I told you guys we're getting long here. Inverse perpetual trade. Now we have now we're just in a regular trade from here. So I'm still in the inverse over here. Um, I still got about two and a half ETH in that. And then this one here, um, we still got. I've just started um, using USDT now for a regular trade. So um, futures trade, and now we're in this. So we'll see how this goes. I might take some profits today, but right now, if we do come back down, like it's just a retest of that $2,800 level. So Ethereum, just looking at it more on a macro, right? We're getting acceptance into the value area. So what does that mean? That means that typically if you get acceptance into here, you're coming for your point of control, right? First and foremost, I think there's a big wall um, right around $3,000. Um, if I pull volume and isolate this area in here, yeah, right around $3,000. You can see that, that point of control in here. So that would definitely be an idea for a take profit. But, you know, if we reclaim $3,000, there's no reason why you're not coming up to $3,500 and therefore probably coming up to all-time highs at $48, right? So pretty wild, pretty wild um, just managing that position. But, you know, I've been talking about ETH being in an ascending triangle since, like, here. So since here. So you know what? You you jump in on these lows and you try to ride this thing up to the moon. You can also see that I hate to say it, but look at it. It's going, man. Cardano to the moon. Who would have thought, man? <laughs> Fuck, man. I sold all my ADA right here and I swapped it for Sui. Whatever. I do believe <laughs> Sui's going to perform better than ADA, uh, but this is funny, man. I mean, I bought I bought over here so like I still made 50% on my ADA and then I swapped it for Sui over here and I bought Sui right here. So for me, I'm still up 40% uh, on my Sui as well. So you know what? I think Sui will be a better runner than ADA this bull run. We'll see, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I've taken up 35 minutes of the chat now. So you, you, you only have to do not even half, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> man, I was already. Oh, do I have to work still? <laughs> hey, come on, it's Friday. All right, I've uh, I want to show you guys some of things here. <laughs> I do, I want to get started. Get to with work. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a bummer. <laughs> Uh, let me just click here. <laughs> so I do exactly the same as you do. When, I mean, I also get paid on, on USD, right? Both trading and both here in, in Chart Prime, right? Uh, here is what I do. Let's see if we can uh, load the screen here because it seems like it's not. Oh, is it loading for you guys? We can see it, yeah. I can, I you can see, see US. I can see USD taco. <laughs> exactly. USD Coke, <laughs> but from Coca Cola. <laughs> no, cocaine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coca Cola. I'm telling yeah, yeah. you, I'm never going to get a monetization of my channel. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing on my test bench in here. So, uh, what the hell? Um, guys, give me just one second, please, because you're not going to be seeing this in the recording. Give me, one, guys, one second. 
sharing. Mm-hmm. Share it again. Mm-hmm. Try it again, bro. Yeah. So, can you see it now? Oh, yeah. Now it's, it's showing, isn't it? Or, like, do you see it? Can you guys see it? Um, loading. Yep, I can see it. Perfect. All right, let's do it. So I do exactly the same thing here. We do usually, uh, I hold it, right? Uh, when it's in, in lower areas here. And then I just, uh, when I start seeing debris over my head, you know, like, uh, that's when I start, when I try to see My sell. God, look at that. <laughs> What's with your shitty Fiat, man? Holy smokes. You, look at that, dude. <laughs> <Holy> what? <shit. laughs> Dude, I'd rather trade this over that. <laughs> yeah, it's a dodge crazy, form, man. a dodge, right? I mean, whatever. <laughs> but a move. But, oh, yeah. Men, guys, I mean, we need to understand that this is the fourth hour on 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 a, on a, on a country. Holy shit. Know, on a country, yeah. That, this is not good. In fact, just so you know, the price action, because first we have the US dollar. The price action going down is good for my economy. That means that uh, the disparity between the Mexican peso and the dollar is less, right? I still remember when we have uh, an eight dollar, eight eight pesos per dollar. I still remember that. Now look at that. So the price action going up that is not good for my economy. Still, that's why I'm trying to move out of my own economy, guys. Let's just talk something smart here, right? Despite I could get excited about from, this. Be, yep, go ahead. From 2009 to 2014, the Canadian dollar was worth more than the US dollar. Wow. Oh, man, I did not know that. Wow, that's amazing. Crazy, eh? And what was, yeah, and what was the tipping point? Uh, 2000. 2000 yeah back in 2000 and yeah 14 it just it went parabolic i don't know what happened Man, probably a new prime minister or some bullshit like that justin trudeau you know that guy <laughs> fucking yeah whatever and i mean now we're going anyways parabolic. you keep going yeah, and this is because of all of the instability that our ex-president, because we just had a switch, uh, start doing. So, guys, I mean, do not listen to politicians, all right? Please, if I can push something, like, out of the bottom of my heart, politicians, they, they always look for themselves, right? Uh, so, look at economy, look at hard data, look at things that they are not going to be manipulating your way of, of thinking. All right. So that's a way to stay safe and to have a, a self, uh, a self thinking process to figure out whether you are good or not good on your economy and the politics are doing their job or not. Right. So just saying out there. Uh, so, I mean, look at that, look at that scam wig, my friend. <laughs> I mean, ah, Jesus. All right. So uh, just for the long run, uh, let's talk about this. For the long run, this is not going to be good for me because, I mean, let's just think uh, Let's just think up in the future. What if I just, uh, maybe I just stop working on chart frame, right? What if they close uh, US, uh, that's not never going to happen, by the way, me quit working for chart frame. But uh, the thing is, um, what if my country restricts the U.S. dollar conversion or just like what happened in, in Argentina? Oh, you're earning in dollars? All right, well, then your dollar, just because you're in Argentina, is now going to be this much. And we, as the savior government, are going to take the rest because you are rich and you need to keep back to, the, to, your, to your country, right? F that, my friend. That's I mean, right. yes, I love my country, but not my, but, but not those politics. I do believe on self sacrifice, safe work, and also safe re, uh, remuneration. With I mean, you get you get uh, you get what we work for, right? And government just should be giving me and everybody else the means, right? Not just take from one to give it to another one. 
should be just keep building roads, not, not 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 dragging you along. All right, so that's what I think. Well, once I get that out of my system, <laughs> what about uh, I want to take a look at a couple of things that I have been ringing here: Bonk, OM, and Aero. Also, I don't know, my friend, XRP on the fifteen minutes. Ah, come on. There we go. Look at that. Well, then we are right now in triangle. Uh, seems like this freaking triangle is falling very nicely. I just updated that line, right? So, again, it's not that XRP is my favorite coin. It seems like it's been moving. So, uh, I mean, Alex is, or it, it's it's correct. Let's let's not lose sight of it. I'm just looking at a, at a possibility here. Uh, and we took it. Breakout retails, I'll be go. Perfect. Just so you know, I did not trade this. Why? I just was doing something else. And my entry point was not taken. So I'm not going to be putting that metal to me. Uh, but I I mean, the the, the, um, the play was there and played out perfectly. I mean, look at that entry. Come on. I mean, you got to be kidding me with, with this freaking entry. Look at how close we got to that entry. So that's one of the things I, all right, did not ring, but... Well, would you guys forgive me just for losing what point oh point zero 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 one? It's not good seven? enough, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But you're right. You're right. That was not good enough. That 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 is the fact that matter, right? That is the fact that matter. All right, so guys, we're kind of like going to the zero lining here. Be careful. Uh, remember FOR, Philip the Ruin at, at support. We are at support. We are almost at flip the ruin, but we start. If I start losing the the oscillator here, right, and I also lose my my dynamic reactor, uh, I have I have not much to give me. Let, let me remove this. Not much to give me. Oh wait, wait, uh, I was wrong. Still, still, not much to give me some support, right? So next area maybe of reentry somewhere around here. As once again, I have flip the ribbon. I'm looking for that possible flip the ribbon to play it out like this in the best case scenario and that is to give me here another higher high on the volume all right and then start breaking out or up remember that at this point this is a symmetrical triangle the 15 minutes symmetrical triangles 50 50 to break up or down so this is a non breakout so that's what i'm going to be waiting for breakout and confirmation on the momentum which is my oscillator uh let's just bring up a couple of other stuff here in here once again, look at where my entry line was. Let me just adjust it just for this liquidity area. So maybe early flip of the ribbon. Look at that. Another order block somewhere around that area. And man, I, I think this is a strong area to start considering back in if we break down. How so? All right. If we are below here and yeah, we might be having that flip of the ribbon. Be careful because we're going to be below the trend line preview support to become new what? new resistance all right and once again it's not about the breakout it's about your root test and off you go uh this could be a little bit of a fake out also all right the off you go to the downside could be a little bit of a fake out and why is that because because still showing some strength to the upside but but we just keep pushing and we're now on the red area if we do not do an for at the zero line at the four hours I think we're going to my main entry. So I'm looking at 72, 493. So 72, 500, right? Somewhere around those area. So that's what I'm thinking. And this retracement on the XRP 15 minutes might be a very nice retracement back down, all right? So that will also add into, oh, we're breaking down. We're breaking down, right? To the breakout retest and off we go. Let's leave it as this. I'm even gonna be changing my alert somewhere around this area just for early uh, movement. I think we are breaking down. And let me also clear this up. Yep, seems like we are. All right, it's not said and done. Remember candle close, that will define stuff. Uh, another thing that I was looking at and it, it played very nicely, it was Aereo, which is the same one, all right? Uh, let's just take a look at what happened. Remember that we moved slightly to the upside, uh, this movement. And right now, well, I needed to go a little bit faster. Here we go. We already have uh, the going up, the retracement, all right, and then a continuation. Uh, still a little bit, a little bit early. Uh, you might still have a chance to jump in for a long if the conditions are right. But once again, 
It will depend on Bitcoin. Uh, what I'm looking at here, it is, remember, uh, let's just get this out of the way because this was the convergence between those two clouds, right? But I am looking for, let's make that clear, right? FOR, clip of the ribbon. So at this point, I'm gonna be dragging this FOR somewhere lower, uh, these areas here. FOR at some support, do we have some support? Yes, we do. Where? Still this area, still this area right here. So some sweep of the lows. Remember, this is the four hour. If we take a look at the 15 minutes, we might have a more clear picture. We also have the same, I would say, uh, maybe breakout double top going back to these areas or better yet, a huge, let me clean this up, uh, a huge triangle like this, all right? With a little bit of a fake out here. Uh, can we even go uh, a little bit more in depth in here and do it like this? Uh, so possibly uh, we could be looking for, because we have not yet broken these areas here, all right? We could be having the FOR or a little bit lower, just like that. At where? Support. Do we have anything else that give us support? Let's look for that. Uh, yeah, we have a little bit of a, a liquidation area. Not much, uh, once again, if we do this, we might be going for lower areas at retail zones or better yet at smart money zones where we could be bouncing up, all right? I think this is a little bit too much of a mess. Uh, let's do that like this, all right? And then let's also see how that pairs on the four hours. So oh, there we go, the sweep of the lows right here, very fast, and then maybe a recuperation if we, if we can hold the zero line with an FOR. Uh, we're still pretty good on bullishness, all right? We're still pretty bu bu uh, good in bullishness. And the consolidation score seems like we should not be having a big range. And I, I mean, I don't see at this point something that I would call a range. I see something like a triangle or maybe a slight small bull flag here. Another thing that I've been talking about for a long time, it is, uh, let me see if I got it. There we go, this pattern here that I've been showing that on the Bitcoin charts, right? Where we have this little hump first, we have the triangle, the little range, and then boom, we just explode, right? So we have the little uh, hump, we have the triangle, and if we're able to hold that zero line, well then let's measure just for the fun of it. And remember that I like to measure from the bottom line that usually give me a little bit more uh, precise uh, taking profits and we're gonna be looking something like a 185. At the best case scenario, we could be looking at something like 28, 58, uh, using a 10x leverage, that would be 285 at the best case scenario, right? Um, remember that we also could be having a little bit of a sweep of the lows. How would a, a sweep of the lows will look like? Well then, like this, right? Sweep of the lows and then come back back, right? So, oh, we got it right here. The hump, the next one, the triangle, sweep of the lows, and then a push up, right? So do expect, do expect a little bit of that wicking action, right? Uh, but if that doesn't play it out, as soon as I'm breaking through the 147 mark and I'm having a flip of the ribbon, that's gonna be my entry point. So I'm gonna be clicking here at 146 at an alert. And I have another one that I'm gonna be pushing all the way up here. And I'm gonna leave this other alert. Why? Because we also have this huge retail area. I just put it at the center of that retail area. So I will be looking at our aerodrome uh, for possibilities on, on entries throughout this weekend. Uh, I do see this playing out either tomorrow morning or today night. So be patient, look for your signals. This could be a good move. Something important because I've been pretty bullish on it. All right. Some, and I, I'm just being bullish because my bullish score or my prime score is very bullish. All right. That's the only reason. But if we're trying to be as pragmatic or as level-headed as we could be, we're at the top of the range, all right? And as a range, we sell high, we buy low, right? We buy low, we do what? We sell high, all right? So I know it's a little bit of uh, contradiction here, so that's why I'm waiting for the flip of the ribbon. 
or lose of my zero line for then enter for a short somewhere around these areas. So that's what I got for you guys. Uh, let me try it back to you, Alex. Awesome, yeah. So that's the thing. Things are range bound like 80% of the time, right? You got to remember that. I just gave a, a setup to my Discord for a SUI trade looking for that thing to pop. Uh, we'll see if we do get it. Uh, just looking a little bit overextended. I'm pretty bullish on SUI. So just taking a look at the trade idea. Same same kind of deal, right? If this is a range, we're at the low of the range. I'm protecting myself below. You know, it can come down into here and take this low, but right now this this does look like it wants it could be breaking down. But also, if we're if we're trading this, this would be a discount zone. So if I'm popping this on, look at this, right? So discount zone, right? So we could come down to maybe the golden. A predictive ranges here but that's okay this is more of a swing trade for me like i'm not looking to you know i'm sitting on this i'm putting like i'll put like a thousand bucks here on 10x kind of deal and just kind of chill on it it's not like i'm putting like you know it's not like a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin trade or whatever it is right like typically i'm putting minimum like 50 grand down when I, with leverage right so it's uh it's a different story right so this you put a thousand bucks, 20x leverage, you protect yourself, you give yourself a lot of wiggle room, and you see if we come back and get acceptance, you know, you could take some off here. Um, if it does pop, it pops, right? Uh it's uh in my opinion, it's it's low risk buying the lows, right? So if if it's gonna follow the same range, it's gonna follow the same range, right? So you're not gonna get perfect entries on things like this, but if you can give yourself enough wiggle room to where you know i'm risking like 300 dollars here to make the same amount like i'm making 1500 if if this goes above you know in our premium area right but it's something to swing and this is a big move like this is not no no little move this is seven percent move back up to the highs. so uh you play i play the altcoin game but i play it like like as safe as possible i'm not here to try and scalp it like i do bitcoin I'm here to just say, hey, man, right now, this is looking a little bit overextended to the downside. This is probably a good little discount entry I could be looking for. Let's put a little bit of risk. So I go to I go to school with 300 bucks. I go to go to class and I say, hey, man, let's let's push this thing back up. Right. And that's it. Uh, this is the this is the fun money trades for me. This is like, OK, I make a little bit of extra, you know, go buy the white flowers kind of deal. So uh this is the good stuff. So just looking at this right now, see if it can bounce up. Um, a little overextended here. Discount zone. Looking for this thing to pop back up. And that's it. Like, really with this stuff, like it's, you're trying to just manage your risk, be level-headed, right? If you want to go degenerate, right? You go, oh, look, Ada's moving. So let's go and trade Snack, right? Look at, look at Snack. You want to go degenerate. Go and trade snack. You want to go and gamble. Here, here's your gamble coin for the weekend. Up 12%, absolutely parabolic to the upside. Maybe you want to short this thing. I don't know what you want to do, but I would stay away from this shit. Um, but you can see Grok doing the same thing. I mean, it's the trades are out there, right? Look for things like Ada's moving. So maybe I want to go down the chain and trade something more degenerate on ada so snack is an ada meme coin right maybe if uh whatever if ethereum's popping off i want to trade optimism or maybe i want to trade pepe right uh, you can go down um injective looks incredibly strong lately that's something i'm keeping my eyes on as well i am a big holder of injective but injective you know any kind of retrace seems to get a pretty aggressive pump out so something else i'm keeping my eyes on but you know right now uh, it's not as if you're throwing a dart and it's hitting. Okay, it's, we're not in that kind of bull run yet. However, it's starting, right? It's starting. So you just try try to manage your risk, take advantage of price action. Going into the weekend, we can expect a little bit of uh, less volatility. I wouldn't say that it wouldn't have volatility. I, I, right now, you know, lots of, you know, Wall Street's going to take a break, but they're not going to, crypto doesn't take a break, right? And when there's this much uh tension in the trading atmosphere we can see that with the volatility right that you know there might be some opportunities 
on the weekend. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, and I thank you guys for being here. And that's enough out of me. Let's see guys, if Stewie goes so to the moon. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's time to wrap it up, guys. Uh, I'm going to be seeing you guys on the plus. Uh, carry out, uh, see you on the ticket. Uh, please uh, ask for the ticket. Uh, and guys, thank you so much for, for joining. And as always, see you guys Monday. <laughs> this time. Have a good weekend, guys.